this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to draw a side view of a wolf face. Heck yeah, a side view. Do you know when you are drawing your side view and that just look like mm, the eye should not be there and you're like, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I tried enough times and I'm using reference and everything. What is happening here? And that's what I'm going to show you today, that you can have some tricks, you can know some ways to make your side view looking amazing. So let's get into it. By the way, leave a like and subscribe. You there watching this on YouTube. We have our white canvas, we have nothing here. How do we start? By using reference. Let me show you right now where I get the reference for faces, animal faces. Yeah, this website right here, I already showed many times and on my YouTube tutorials and on Patreon and on everywhere. Here you can just choose the position of the face and it's going to show faces according to the position and since i want a side view search side view i found beautiful side views okay i'm going to choose the one that i like the most that it, in this case this one come here yeah you full image no i just want your face and we are not going to draw exactly as a reference as artists we change stuff we change things for the better for worse for we do our best to change to the excellent sometimes it will happen for the worse but remember happy accidents happen okay it's fine first things first a circle we love a circle i love a circle we all came into a full circle so we got a circle and now we are going to make the muzzle the the nose how we make it well we could just go like this that would work but you would not be understanding what i'm doing so you pick around the half of the circle a little bit taller around the half okay this is almost half and from here you're going to make something fall down a little bit okay and then you make a curvature here like a, an open and wide c you know there's the letter c you do like c it's not like it's c. okay you do an open C. Keep on going, keep on going. And there is a moment that you're going to think, oh my, if I keep opening the C, it's going to become a bear. That's that's the moment. That's the moment that you go like, no, no, this is enough. And then you close and just go and making it bigger here. Okay? If you have trouble with this, think like this is some kind of ice cream, okay? But the cone is a little bit different. And if you still have trouble with this type of thinking, you can just go and draw the letter D, a huge D on your art. <laughs> you connect here. Okay, be sure to connect to the middle of the circle. Or a little bit upwards. Now, to make the eye, you are not going to do a circle here. Stop, stop the circles. No circles here no circles we are going to do a triangle the angles keep on trying but you try even more than the angles okay you do a triangle like this here not so close okay not so close do a little bit more far away you know don't do it so close like here yeah be careful to not do it so high like here what what is this here here's good here's here is good and you close the triangle now you can erase this area right here and now we're gonna be doing this silhouette right here Swish. we can remove a little bit more and now we're going to do it going up not like schwa it's going to what okay it's going to have a breaking point we're gonna uh, stop appearing for me okay uh, it's going to have a breaking point Swish and then here and then goes up and careful again to not make your breaking point too close and then up or again too tall <laughs> the parts that we are talking right now are the most important so that's why i'm like hey please please you can you can redo it control z is there for you i'm there for you we are all there for you come on you can do it son now how do we place ears you may think hey gaps ears so easy like no don't 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 you're better than this we we can do this together let's go here 
to make the ears, I think of the three dimension of the ear. Like if you cut the ear of the wolf, there will just be a hole there. There was going to be a hole right here. Caps, why are you saying right here? Where is right here? Far away from the eyes, far, really far away from the eyes, but it's still not touching this area of the circle, okay? And since you did this, you just make a cone. Let me show you. Swish, going forward, of course. Swish, and then you break the cone, like, oh, and there is like the Pokemon attack, earthquake, and then the cone is like, rah, rah, rah. yeah, here, yeah, perfect. You can make it just going straight forward down, and another curvature here. Both faces are good. You can do it straight, not having anything changing. I prefer doing it with a curve. Good. Now you raise everything inside here. You don't need any more. <laughs> and here we are going to make a parallel line that gets thicker and thicker and thicker and so thick, my bro. Oh my, look at this. And then we do some fur, a little fur getting out. Like, shree, 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 shree. And now here in the back. Another layer for the ear. Yeah, and now we can go into the other ear. Whoop, just a triangle, just a cone going up. Close, close by, okay? Very close. Okay, good. Not many details to handle or think of. Just another cone. Here, fur, of course. This area here, pure fur. Your eyes, do you know the eyes? Yeah. Make everything darker around. Everything, everything darker. Just be careful to not give too much. What is the name of that? Too much makeup. Don't give too much makeup. Careful. More makeup on this side than the other side, okay? And now you do a dot, pretty much a line. After doing the little dot here, be careful to not do it too close to the corner you don't do it too close to the corner please don't do that the pupil is like it, it's a hole it's going inside of the eye it's not like a dark color in your iris in your in your eye no it's literally a hole that the light enters so let's keep on going the nose i have a, an amazing tip for the nose you do the letter c laying down come on letter c lay down and then it stretches Let's make the format of the nose. The nose is not pointy. No, no, no. If you're drawing cartoon, if you're drawing cartoon, go for it. A straight line, or you can do a little curvature happening here. Now we get here and close the nose. And once the glass gets close to the eye line, you can see here. Whee! You just make it a letter D. And of course, the black line is not going to be so strong here, comparing to here. Huge leap, huge leap. And here, there's going to be some meat. There's going to be some meat here. Be careful not to so strong. Like, bro, what the freak? You do, you do a soft, a gentle line, okay? You do at least three lines, okay? One, two, three, four. There are four. You do at least three. I just erased it a little bit right now. What I did was just picking up my eraser and I set the opacity low by pressing numbers on my keyboard, like 20 person, 30. And I was little by little erasing and now I'm back to my normal brush. If someone in the comments ask me, what is my brush? Remember, I'm using a standard brush. Now for the chin. Well, if you are a furry artist, you are probably going to draw a huge chin and make it like this. You can do it. Yes, you can. But here's just a feral wolf, okay? Oh, by the way, the fur, how I did it. One small curvature going out and the rest is all closed like this, okay? 
Well, fur. We know about fur. There is a point that is going to fur to come from it. And it's going to be here in the ear, in the ear. So we just go and shrish, shrish, shrish. Okay. You do the fur just following the fall and then I'm different. I'm different too. And we are all following. I'm different. Remember, there is a huge, huge fluffy wave right here in the wolves. Okay, huge. Huge fluffiness right here in this area. Huge locks of fur. And here, when it hits the down area, it's pretty much, hey, let's change positions. Be sure to follow the movement of the fur right here. This movement, this move, yes. think hey my artwork here is too flat you can always always just go and add a little bit of more texture you know more liveness even more life happening so you make the fur just going out like wow I'm here to protect the ears now let's go into the area that people really love above the eye below the eye below to the eye Okay, first one, here. Upper eyelid, heck yeah, upper eyelid, you gotta make the upper eyelid, upper. You can make it like, oh, surprised, like I just did right now, or you can make it like, hey, yeah, just normal, okay? Just like, mm, normal expression, like, mm, neutral, neutral expression. And here, normally wolves have that singular dot, that one dot, that is like their eyebrows, I believe so. And then it goes falling down and down. Here, there's the zygomatic bone. We cannot see here too much, but we can draw it. And even more far here, close to the mouth. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, because if you do too much, it can look like this wolf is old, like, Oh, I have lived enough years! Gabs, what you're doing right now, I'm doing this movement right here. Wee, wee, wee. A few lines with a big one. A few lines with a big one. And sometimes this big one can be thick, like what happened here. Or it can be slim. Don't make yourself too rigid to the rules. Try changing a little bit. It's always good to change. Now I want to be showing something that I do in all of my art process and I don't think people focus too much on that and should be amazing to focus on that. It's literally to take a step just thinking where I can improve and what feels wrong. There are some things here that purposely I did not make it 100% right. And I want to show that it's really important for you to just take your time and fix that. It's important. You are not going to get it at first. You are not going to get it at the maybe at the 50 time. That would be crazy. But maybe you're not going to. And that's why there are small things that we notice only afterwards. Let me show right now. I want this nose to be a little bit closer. This nose here, maybe it could be a little bit thicker. straight lines here because we are able to see inside of the fur. Why we are able to see inside of the fur, you may ask me. Not so far away, but close to this area because the fur is going frontally to our eyes. Like you see me right now in the webcam, if I do like this with my hand, you're gonna be seeing my fingers like, oh, 
nothing. You're going to see that dark area between my hands, right? But if I do with my hands like this, you cannot see the dark area anymore. You cannot see that. And when the furs exactly look at you, you can see the dark area. That's what is happening in the fur. And I wish I learned this sooner. That's why I did this dark area here too. go and add shadows you can go and shadows where are the shadows where you believe the light doesn't touch you gotta really do that think mark think and you're gonna be like oh okay light cannot touch here since it's coming a little bit from above or because there is the two fluffy furs side by side so you cannot see anything and if you cannot see light cannot touch And of course, this area here, you can add texture of fur. Don't be shy to add some fur texture, you can add it. Contrast is important, champs. Contrast show to the people that are looking at your artwork where to focus and where to not focus. I just said that it's for you to show where to focus and not focus. So no dark line right here. We're gonna pass through the ultimate test to see if this drawing is good or not. Rotate the canvas. Let's rotate the canvas. Oh, how you rotate the canvas? That's an excellent question. You you go here on image. I'm not crazy, it's here. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm not crazy. You go here in image, image rotation, and then you're going to flip canvas horizontally, okay? And then you're gonna see the truth. And then you kind of find out if her drawing is looking crazy or good. And for me, I think my artwork's looking pretty good. I like what I see. Oh, by the way, you can have some mustache. Yeah, mustache. Important for wolves. <laughs> Just using the two ramp, you know, ramp to change the format of things the way I want. Let me show again. I selected the area. How I select the area? I use lasso tool. I press L on my keyboard. I select the area that I want to be changing. Okay. And then I press Ctrl T. After pressing Ctrl T, I select it, click on it, and then I choose wrap. And let me see you wrap, 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 wrap. wrap. That's how we do it. And then I just press Ctrl 8, not 8 the number, the letter. And then I just, whoa! And I start changing his emotions. Tell me if it helped you. Leave a like. What type of video you want to see next? You're amazing. I'll be seeing you in the next one, champ! <laughs>